You might recall about a month and a half ago, I did a video about stuff from my childhood that didn't hold up and said I was going to review a little show called Gaither's Pond. Well, that exact same day, just a few hours before my video went up, another YouTuber by the name of Saberspark also uploaded a review of Gaither's Pond. Man, I really should have broken this one while I had the chance, but, uh... You know what, I said I was going to review it, so here it is. There were some movies, terrible movies, movies so awful, no one would touch. Then came a Matthew, sad little Matthew, Matthew decided these movies to watch. For every good movie, there's at least ten bad. Matthew didn't drag himself through the crap to find the worst ones there are to be had. Today's episode... Gaither's Pond. Hello, Southern Baptists. I'm called Matt, and today we're going to look at something creepy from my childhood that gave me a bunch of trauma. Something I have never done before. Gaither's Pond was a series of faith based CG animated videotapes, much in the same vein as Veggie Tales. Three episodes, a test pilot, and a sing-along videotape were produced between 1997 and 2003. I have no idea why production on each episode took so long because it looks terrible. They clearly didn't put that much time or care into this. The series was a vehicle for the singing group The Gaither Vocal Band, who were basically the Wu-Tang Clan of gospel music. I swear, everyone who's ever sang gospel has sang with the Gaithers. So in the wake of VeggieTales success, they decided to slap their likeness on a series of Christian tapes. And boy do I mean they slapped their likeness on this. For some strange reason, they decided to make their characters fish and other pond creatures, but base all the characters on themselves? You couldn't just go the Hanna-Barbera route and just have cartoon versions of yourselves go on wacky adventures. You, you had to make them fish with human faces. Poorly rendered human faces. But we'll get to that. And why do some of them have hair? Not all of them. Mark Lowry, for example, had hair when this was made, but his character doesn't. Why the inconsistency? And get a load of these names. Mark Lowry is now Carp Lowry. Vestal Goodman is now Vestal Gooseman. Buddy Green is Buddy Greenfly. Bill Gaither is Big Bass Bill- Oh, you didn't even try with that one. Weirdest of all is Gloria Gaither, who you'd think would be a fish like her husband, but is, for some reason, a flower who cannot move. You can see her in the background sometimes. Just everything about this show makes me ask, why? And then you get a look at who made it and... Hey look, it's Bill Gaither's kids. Thanks, Dad. Also, the IMDb page for this show was totally vandalized by shit posts when I started writing this, but it seems like they've mostly taken those down before I could get a screenshot. That said, it's not hard to find these images with a simple Google search. The plot still invokes our Dark Lord, though. I don't know if there's any specific meme community reason this was vandalized, other than no one cared enough to fix it until recently. But since I didn't watch his video, I'm gonna blame Saberspark for that one. That's what you get for reviewing this before I could, guy who's never gonna see this video. The episode I'm gonna look at is called Fish Tales because it was the first episode and one I vividly remember my grandmother having. And yeah, Fish Tales. I wonder what inspired this show. Hmm. Well, if they're going to invoke Veggie Tales, so can I. Veggie Tales is one of, if not the, first fully CG animated shows. And it still looks decent because these characters were specifically designed to be as easy to animate as possible. They have no clothes or limbs, small black holes for a mouth, and big expressive eyes. Not Sea Man Goes to the Uncanny Valley. And what's worse is that they try to do these wacky cartoon expressions that look even more surreal. It's also very clear when they did this how hollow the models were, and the water often clips into their mouth. And yeah, water effects. 
that thing Pixar wouldn't even attempt for four more years. I mean, they match how shitty everything else looks. Is that enough intro? Let's watch this damn thing. Duh. I think this show just tried to go all men in black on me. And what else would southern evangelicals be worried about but FAKE NEWS! And it might be a little early to be talking about the problems with the story, but it's all about rumors, and the ones Carp is posting on his website are so goofy and exaggerated, they're more in the vein of, like, weekly world news. Compare this to Larry Boy and the Rumor Read, where the rumor is that Alfred is a robot. Okay, a bit far-fetched, but it's a show for kids, so some leniency. Here, it just seems like Carp is having a little fun, and if people fall for it, that's their fault for being stupid. But you really should check out your facts before you print them. Facts? Have you ever heard of creative license? That's not a thing in journalism. It is in historic fiction, but uh, not in journalism. Uh, trust me on this, I'm... <laughs> A fifth year journalism student. Look, it's not a race. <laughs> Oof, that face. That's gonna haunt me. Please use this image at my funeral. This leads into the opening theme, and here's where I'll give Gaither's Pond some praise. The music is excellent. I have no shame. I love gospel music. Tell me this theme song doesn't slap. Although, I think it's advocating fishing at Gaither's Pond. Grab a pair of mud boots and a fishing pole or two. Look, I like fishing, but maybe you shouldn't tell people to come on down and kill your characters. What if the VeggieTales theme was just like, Hey kids, eat us in a salad. After the intro, we find Carp headed downstream with this super cool slow motion shot. One of these days, you're gonna bite off more than you can chew. Oh, don't talk about chewing this close to lunchtime, buddy. You know dad jokes? Well, I posit there's something lamer. Youth pastor jokes. And that was a youth pastor joke. Yo, what is Carp doing in this shot? He just took a hit of some of that good shit. Mmm, that's a pleasant angle. You think maybe these guys were inspired by Dingo's spread eagle across the block duck? Anyway, Vestal Gooseman is upset that Carp said she was running for pond president. Cults? From all the major shows, Larry Kingfish Live. I'm sorry, Larry Kingfish? Is this just some weird B-movie thing where you can cram fish next to anything? And Dennis Rodfrog keeps challenging me to a hoot con. You think you're hot? You think you're bad? I ain't afraid of no insect. Oh boy, a Dennis Rodman joke. That'll age well. Anyway, Vestal chastises Carp for spreading rumors and then demonstrates with a metaphor. See your reflection in that glass down there. Ah, oh, you handsome fish, you. Guys, the distortion in your show is bad enough. Please don't add intentional distortion. That's what gossip does. It takes something and makes it appear like there's more to it than there really is. Yeah, the problem is, the rumors carp spreading are out and out lies. It'd be one thing if you had said you were considering running for pond president and he stretched that into a full-blown campaign, but no, he's just lying. Why do you know that the Bible says that gossip is just as wrong as all those other sins? You know, all those other sins. Why spreading rumors is as bad as murder or stealing. Look, say rumors are just as bad as lying, that's fine. Don't act like lying is super high on the list of worst sins. There's nothing wrong with having fun, Carp. But when you're having it, make sure it's not at someone else's expense. Oh, I'd never do that, Miss Vestal, but I do like to have fun. And apparently that was a transition into a song. Seems like a massive stretch there. It's odd, too, because this is clearly just some song the Gaithers usually sing, while there is at least one song here that seems written unique for the show. This isn't syndicated, there's no time limit you have to hit. Ah, oh, why am I complaining? The music is the best part. But since you've been around, 
Although, I could do without the flashy editing, and I do literally mean flashy, what the hell? Also, the visuals are just nonsense, and that's on top of the already surreal animation. It's seriously Fever Dream-esque. And then there's like, one scene where Vestal tells someone she isn't running for president, and another mostly unrelated song. <laughs> hey, what's going on here? A goose can't play piano. Uh, where did this crowd come from? Uh, like in most musicals, it's odd that the characters start singing, but here it genuinely seems like the songs are in a completely different universe. Like the whole segment is just not canon at all. I can't believe Miss Vestal's making me run a retraction! I've never ran a retraction in my life! This is gonna cost me some subscribers for sure! Ha! <laughs> Suck it, this is definitely gonna net me some subscribers. Oh, I gotta run a retraction. Okay, stop, stop, don't Tell the closer. real story. I've gotta think before I write. Well, I can rest easy knowing that uh, no one in my audience has a boar fetish anymore. You're welcome. <gasps> Gloria Gladio, I didn't know you were there. I didn't have a choice. This is where they planted me. How did you not know she was there? She literally can't move. Man, even the framing sucks. Like, usually you want to keep characters on the thirds of the frame and stay consistent. If a character's in one shot, they should be in the reverse shot. This show just fails at everything. Watch your plan to cut contact. What about contact? Uh, hey, well, how we're serving on your cabinet? Do you accept it? Let me just, uh... Fix this box. Gotta let people know this is pure fucking nightmare fuel. Yeah. There we go. And seriously, guys, Carp's blog is clearly not a reliable source, and you didn't double check with anyone before rushing into this interview. And then we get to the song, The Rumor Mill. Cast your mind back, if you will, to my childhood trauma video. I couldn't shake the feeling that I was forgetting something. This was it. This was part of my childhood trauma, and I repressed it. For years, this shit stayed buried right next to my sexuality and the resentment for my mother. And here it is traumatizing me all over again. Let me run you through this tour de force of horror. 1. Bassy, ominous, minor key music. Let me tell you a story about a local enterprise. There's one in every town, no matter what its size. 2. The grotesque half-faces on these cattails. 3. Disembodied mouth and ears flying at me. For general creepy cinematography. And finally, this very literal and on-the-nose tour of the rumor mill. The rumor mill. Manufacturing lies. Where the truth is disguised. Where reputations are crushed. Nothing is hushed. If it can be twisted, you can be sure that it will. Oh, there ain't nothing sacred at the rumor mill. Like, it's not just me, right? This is creepy as hell. Insert Comic Sans joke, moving on. Big Bass Bill and his gang are swimming around when they notice, Hey, wait. These signs endorse Vestal Gooseman for Pawn President. Your term's not up for another, uh... Your term's never up, is it, Big Bass? I'm sorry, what? You've been our president ever since I was a guppy. Yeah, it seems despite being called president, Big Bass Bill is in charge of the pond forever with no need for elections. That, on top of the fake news plot and the evangelical nature of the show, makes me very, very uncomfortable. 
Things get bad, but Carp steps in and clears the air and announces his bid for pond president. Stick it to him, Carp. Bill's been in charge too long. Fuck the system. I mean, I'd probably still vote for Bill. He seems more qualified. But it's good to have competition. Keeps them on their toes. Politics can be cruel, can't they? You can say that again. Politics can be cruel, can't they? Look, the you-can-say-that-again joke has never, ever been funny, but they clearly just played the same animation twice. So, yeah, extra insulting. One more song all about the highway to heaven. It's a highway to heaven. Bro, it's a stairway to heaven. The highway runs the other direction. I also think it's funny that this model wasn't designed to look down, so he's just looking at the sky while he drives. Carp prints a retraction and drops out of the race himself. And instead of a terrible segue into a song with a nonsense animated segment, he just plays a video of Mark Lowry's stand-up. It's not even animated. Whatever, the end. Well, I learned a lot about myself. Like why I'm so fucked up. Although this tape is probably just the tip of the iceberg. This is just bad. The, the very worst of Christian entertainment for kids. I suppose it isn't hateful, so it's got that at least. And the music's good. But it fails at its message, the animation is shoddy, the humor subpar, and it is pure nightmare fuel. I can't sleep in the same room as this tape, I've been keeping it in my car. It just makes me uneasy. Don't watch it. Scary, isn't it? You can say that again. Scary, isn't it? My fellow pond dwellers, as your president, yada yada yada, give me liberty or give me land. Yeah. This is your fault, Carp Lowry. You're the reason every moment of my life is a waking nightmare. Actually, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I enjoy my life pretty well. <laughs>